Hey guys, it's Keith Brown, Tack Room Devotional. We've been talking about seeking the kingdom of God and His righteousness. And that's the first thing we do. Once again, if we want to be really good at cutting or whatever it is that we get in, in, involved in, we first have to have a desire. Second of all, we have to invest our time, our talents, everything that we have, our finances into that thing. And we have to diligently seek it and pursue it. It's the same thing with our walk with God. As we diligently seek Him and pursue Him, there's all kinds of things that happen. And we've been talking about that all this week. But today I'm going to take a little different twist. Get excited because this is good, all right? Because here's what happens. It's wonderful to know that, because we read scriptures earlier in the week that says, if you diligently seek me, you'll find me. And, uh, and, and I'll hear from you, I'll hear from heaven. And all those things are wonderful that, that God says, hey, if you'll diligently seek me, you'll find me. But I got scripture today that I want to show you that God is seeking you and I too. It says, it, for instance, in John chapter 4, Jesus is talking to the Samaritan woman at the well. And he says, but the hour is coming and now is when the true worshiper will worship the Father and Spirit in truth. For God is seeking those, um, seeking such to worship him. God is seeking us when we become true worshipers. That is wonderful. It reminds me of the, of the story about the prodigal son over here in Luke chapter 15. You all know the story where the son decides that he wants to kind of go out on his own. So he asks his dad for his inheritance. And the dad gives his inheritance and he goes out and spends it on the things of the world. Not on the things that are kingdom producing, um, but he spends it on the, on the things of the world. And the next thing you know, he's broke and he loses all his friends and everything because he doesn't have any money. He ends up in a pig pen. And realize here he is eating the same stuff that the pigs are eating and cleaning up after them. And he realizes that he could go home and be a servant of his father and be treated better than the way he is right now. So he goes home. And it says as he approaches the house, his dad sees him and runs to him. I'm just here to tell you that that's the kind of God that you and I have. He's looking for you and I to diligently seek him. But let me tell you something God the Father is seeking after you and I. He has a desire that every man is saved and comes, or every man comes to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. That's his desire. That's his purpose. He wants us to be his children. But it takes us to finally realize that the ways of the world is nothing more than a pigsty, and we need to run back to Dad because Dad is diligently seeking us. And then as we become worshipers of him, as we begin to worship him in spirit and in truth, he desires to be with those that uh, are true worshipers. Man, that is great. It's one thing for us to seek. It's another thing to know that God is seeking after us. Get a hold of that. God loves you. I love you. I pray that God would richly bless you as you diligently seek him and serve him.